Hey everyone, welcome to episode in the Rails API series. In this episode right here, I want to be showing you guys how we actually used the token from the previous episode uh, to make a authenticated request uh, when we make the request from the client. So um, in the previous episode, we left off where we actually um, you know, finished the session creation uh, action over here. So I know this code doesn't look that clean. Um, so we're going to clean that up a little bit later. Uh, and also what we're going to be doing is going to be writing a test uh, so that we can refactor this code later on. But it'll all come a little bit later. So for now, let's actually finish this whole process. Uh, so I'm going to head over into the browser over here, and you'll see that um, you know if you read through the documentation, there is a access token authentication authentication handler for user. And what we want to use is this one down here um, so that you know it's uh, it disables devices fallback. Uh, so I'm going to head over uh, into the application control. I'm going to paste that in right there. So basically, um, you know, in this case, if we are logged in and we pass in the correct headers, we're going to get the current user object like we always do with the normal device uh, authentication. So I'm going to in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a request um, using the token and the email that we have. So we read a little bit down uh, into the documentation. We'll see that we have to set a um, X user token and X user email header um, in our in our request, and basically that's what's going to be used, um, you know, to authenticate the user. So I'm going to head over into Paw over here, and I'm going to modify the header just a tad. So here I'm going to do X um, user email, and here I'm going to pass in Zach at codemy.net. And then we're going to add another header over here. So X user uh, token. I'm going to paste this token in here and paste it in like that. So basically, um, if you want to use HTTP Pi, uh, HTTP Pi, uh, you can make your request like this down here. Uh, let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger. So this output, uh, it, uh, Paw also gives you output for curl and like whatever other library you want to use. Um, so that's very handy. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, if you want to make that request, this is how you do it with um, you know, it's the generated uh, request for HTTP Pi. And if you want to use curl, you can do that too. Um, so yeah, there's a generator for almost everything in here. All right, so I'm going to leave that as HTTP Pi. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a request uh, to the contacts. So uh, actually, I need to copy these guys here. So X, X user token and X user email. So X user token, Zach at codemy.net. And then X user email. Sorry, I just swapped that around. Uh, I'm going to copy this guy here and paste it here like that. So now um, when I actually make the request um, in here, let me do a binding.pry because I want to make, I want to break, you know, the request and then see like if we have the current user object as we should. So I'm going to make that request right there. Uh, I'm getting a 500 error. So let's see what's wrong there. So um, that's probably because we removed the routes. So because we commented that out, um, let me just really quickly restart the server again because we add that back in. I didn't want to have the extra routes, but it seems like we do need it. Um, so now let's go ahead and make that request again. Aha, so now we're actually making the request and we see that uh, undefined method pry. So I haven't installed pry in this project yet, but not to worry. So what we're going to be doing instead is we're going to... Um, use by bug, which comes by default with Rails, by bug. So let me close Spark. So by bug, and then we're going to make the request again. Let's see. There we go. So now it's stopped the request, and we can see uh, current user. And you can see here the current user object is automatically loaded for us in the controller because we set those headers. Now let me try again 
uh, and make the request uh, without those headers and you'll see what happens with the current user. I'm just going to exit this uh, to complete the request. So we got a 500 enter um, error. Um, so here I'm going to, um, so that's fine. That's because we're using by bug. So I'm going to remove these headers over here, just like that. And I'm going to make the request again. And here we are, it's stopped again. And I had to current user, it's nil. Uh, that's because we didn't set the header. But as you can see here, uh, by passing in the email and the token as a header, um, you know, the gem, the simple authentication token gem and device automatically works together and gives us that current user that we can use in our controller uh, in our API. So if you haven't already become a member, become a member. Uh, future episodes for this series may not be free. Uh, and it's only nine bucks a month, uh, really, really cheap. Uh, and with our amazing content, uh, it's a steal. Uh, so you, when, you, when you become a member, uh, you get access to all of our content, the Docker stuff, the, the React stuff, uh, the React private content, the Rails Foundation series. Uh, and the Rails API series as well, like all the episodes. So it's really worth uh, the, uh, the value of your money. Uh, and we're working really hard to make the new version, to make it uh, Codemy an even better experience for all of you out there. So with that, I want to wrap it up. Uh, subscribe, like, and share our video. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.